Hi everyone, today we're doing my favourite video of the month, um, which is the free stocks that I'm buying into November, um, in the in the coming up month. Um, this is probably the most change I've had in my portfolio for a long time. I've sold off a lot of my shares in FedEx, um, Boeing, Facebook, Alibaba, and the reason why is because I've basically gone down to free stocks, and the free stocks that I currently believe in the most at the moment Boeing was unlucky because I, I really like Boeing and it's one that I'd like to get back into in the next coming months. But the opportunities that was in these free stocks when they were at a discount two weeks ago um, was just way too much. And I had to get more shares of these free companies because they're truly amazing companies. Um, so I'm going to start off with my brand new stock because I think that's if you watch a lot of my videos, that's kind of like the stock that you've come in to see which one I've bought. Um, and it is my favourite stock, that I used to say it's my favourite stock that I currently do not own. So if you watch my videos quite a bit you'll know which that stock is. And it is Adobe, um, I love Adobe stock, I love the company, it's a great company. Um, the Adobe just changed so, just massive um, to the, like, the subscription base that it's done uh, for a lot of its products. The products are amazing, it's the leading company in its sector by, by far. Um, the growth side of it is amazing, the EPS side of it is amazing um, and it's just a stock that can just keep going up and potentially we could be looking at Adobe going to like $300, $300 per share by the end of the year um, so I just had to buy some shares in this company um, and uh, I'm really happy that I'm back into it um, like I say, a lot of Adobe's shares came from selling Boeing um, which I was pretty good about um, like I say, I like to get back into Boeing, but I really believe in this company. It's, it's one of my favourite companies, um, and I had to get back into it, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really chuffed it's back in my portfolio. Um, so my number three stock is Adobe. Um, number two, my number two stock is PayPal. Um, I've been in PayPal for a good few years now. Um, I think it's about a year and a half of owned PayPal, maybe two years. Um, and they reported earnings and earnings were really good with PayPal. Uh, it, the stock was like at nine, uh, $93 per share and then it dropped down to uh, $79 per share. Uh, the whole payment sector sold off. I was like this close to buying Visa shares as well. Uh, but um, I got more PayPal because I really like the company in the long term. Um, and it paid off the other day because I got in before the uh, earnings report. Uh, so... I had a nice little bit of gain on that earnings report, which was uh, really good. Um, a company that I believe long term, um, I like. It is my favorite payment com company. You know, I do like Visa, but uh, yeah, PayPal is my favorite. Definitely my favorite payment company, and the earnings report was really good. Um, so I'll just carry on uh, holding that for quite a while because I think the stock could go up quite a bit. Uh, number one is still my my favorite stock you know people ask if i could only like invest into one stock and hold that one stock this would be it microsoft uh, the eps side of it the sales growth side of it it's in so many sectors as well in my opinion like microsoft is better than like apple um the dividend side of it how cheap the stock is as well um i would just keep like loading up on microsoft shares um, at the moment and I'm releasing this video before my well I'm recording this video before the Microsoft earnings but I think by the time that I've uploaded it onto my channel Microsoft earnings would have come out so I don't really know what's happened with earnings but I'll be making a video on it hopefully it's gone up um, I, I always get nervous Microsoft earnings um, with it being my biggest stock um, but hopefully it's gone up um, but I'll be doing a video probably in the next week about Microsoft earnings um, but it is a stock that I probably keep adding a lot of shares on. Um, I've had a, it's my best performing stock in my portfolio by far so far this year. I think it's gone up, I don't know, like 40 50%, which is really good. Um, and I'll, I'll keep adding shares as this one. Um, definitely, yeah, like I said, my favorite stock in my portfolio. And yeah, th those are the three stocks for today, guys. Like I say, I've gone from quite a few stocks to just down to three stocks. Um, like I said before, um, Boeing, there's a chance that it could come in before the end of the year again. Um, I like that one. Um, and I, I like Alibaba, I like Facebook. Um, but both stocks have the problems at the moment. Um, 
like I say, Alibaba um, down with that trade war. Uh, we'll see what happens with that before I get into it. I need that sorted before I get back into Alibaba. And Facebook as well uh, is in its downtrend and it needs a good earnings report before it goes back up. It needs that daily active users probably not to be decreasing as much um, for it to get out of that downtrend. So we'll see what happens there. But there's a chance I'll get back into them stocks as well. So that's the video for today, guys. Free stocks at in November. Give the video a like, subscribe. Thanks for all the support recently. And I'll see you on the next video.